stuns me that a member of Congress would have listened in on that conversation. Absolutely stuns me. And I thought at least that was sacred. That is the White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, furious that a Florida Congresswoman listened to a call from President Trump to a soldier's widow and then criticized what he said in that call. Tonight, a local Gold Star family tells WBZ's Michael Cross the pain of losing their son is always there. And playing politics with a loss like this only makes it worse. It doesn't go away. It's always there. And sometimes just things like this will set you off. It's been eight years since the Roberge family of Lemonster lost their son, Jonathan. The 22-year-old Army Private First Class was killed in Iraq when his Humvee hit a roadside bomb. If the president would have called me, I would have been blown away because he took time out of his day to recognize my son and what he's gone through, and it would have just meant so much. Instead, the family got a letter from the Obama administration and wants it known that not all families get a call from the president. The family choosing to speak out tonight as the White House today tried to clarify what President Trump was trying to say when he called the family of a soldier killed in action in Niger. I was stunned when I came to work yesterday morning and brokenhearted. Chief of Staff John Kelly going after a Florida congresswoman for listening to the president's phone call to the family of the fallen U.S. soldier. The congresswoman revealed to the press that Trump told the family that he, quote, knew what he was getting into. He knew what he was getting himself into because he enlisted. There's no reason to enlist. He enlisted. And he was where he wanted to be exactly where he wanted to be with exactly the people he wanted to be with when his life was taken. That was the message. The Reburge family and other Gold Star families they've spoken with here in Massachusetts are upset that paying tribute to their loved ones has become a political issue. I don't know we're a tug of war in the political world and it shouldn't be. We've already gone through enough as it is and th they're making this into a contest. Reporting in Lemonster, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.